I was about to get ready to go to work. I'm ready. I finished early. Only for me to get to my car and the car has refused to start. I called work to cancel my shift because I'm supposed to do a double today. The early and the late. So I called for them to cover the early and to see if the car can start before I need to come back for the late. And I was sitting in the car. I reached out to my husband. He has gone to work. I was sitting in the car trying to start it. It's showing, uh, what's it called, battery on the dashboard. But I absolutely don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. I was sitting in the car just trying to while away time, starting it at intervals to see if it will still work. Because this car, I drove it yesterday from work and I parked it here. Everything was fine. There was no issues at all. And I parked it as usual. And I don't know why it has just refused to start. It has never happened like this before. But today it has refused to start. Only for me to try to start it, I released the handbrake and because where I parked it is a sloppy place. My parking space is always a sloppy place. Only for the car to roll back. <laughs> now, the car has rolled back. I'm blocking the entrance of the car park. This is where I parked it. It's a sloppy place in front. And this battery, I don't know if you can see it, is showing on the dashboard. I've tried to open the the bonnet to just look around. I don't know what I'm trying to know what I'm looking for. <laughs> so the main problem is I'm blocking the entrance to the to the car park. And I was even hoping that even if it doesn't start, I would take the bus or the train to work when it's time for me to start the late shift because since I've already cancelled the morning shift i have to go for the late shift and now i'm stuck here blocking the entrance i i had no option than to call my husband to see if he can just come and help me push the car and i know he would once he come he will know what is wrong with this car i know he will check what is wrong with it because he's very handy with things like that i also even tried to call a garage to see if they can is he rescue me what do they call it um, he called it one name, but I can't remember. Is it road rescue or something? Yeah, he mentioned something. So to, for them to rescue me to their garage will cost me plus VAT 90 pounds. And for them to do a one hour diagnostic on the car to check what's wrong, if it's battery problems, if it's um, something else. And I know this car is fine. This car, there's nothing wrong with it because I just serviced it last month. The annual services that servicing that you check everything. And I also just changed the tire recently when we are at the garage. So everything is fine with this car. There's nothing wrong with it. But for me to rescue for them to recover yeah they call it recovery for them the garage to come and recover my car from here to their garage and for them to put it on the machine to do a one hour diagnostic on the car is going to cost me 190 pounds and i'm not prepared to pay any 190 pounds for this car that i know it can just be a battery issue so what i've done is i've called my husband pleaded with him that because he always have break can you take break and come to check what is wrong with this car if it's battery let's know if it's you just pushing me to whatever to my parking slots just come and push the car to the parking slot let's just let the car rest there for a day or two and there's one one of my uh, mechanic that always checks my car he told me today is eat yeah congratulations to all of you that celebrate eat today is eat and obviously i can't <laughs> i can't be so mean to call him to come and check my car when he's doing his religious celebration so he told me because today is eid he's not able to come and check the car he's not able to come and check the car for me that i should bear with him tomorrow i should message him and he will look find out time to come and check the car so now i'm stuck i'm stuck in the car <laughs> oh my god i'm stuck in the car i don't know what to do <laughs> And if you are familiar with cars, please let me know what to do in the comment section. I don't know. By the time I post this, we might have sorted out what is the issue with the car. But please, if you know what is wrong with this car, tell me so I can do it. I need to get to work. I need to even move it from point A to point B. Let me even go and pack it in this space. Look. 
that's my parking slot there <laughs> my car rode down the slope to this place and there's nothing i can do to it please tell me <laughs> whatever it is so um i called a couple of people to come and help me push the car so one of them is here and they want to help me push the car so now hold on that's where i parked it and now i'm blocking the entrance to the <laughs> car park the car is here i don't know what to do don't know what to do so what do we do? do do you want to push me i don't do you know where the battery is on the car do you know where the battery is open the bonnet i need to open the wait let me open the bonnet let him check the battery if his battery issues or let me open the bonnet for him let him check open the bonnet and check i don't know how to check the battery but the battery is showing on the dashboard that is not uh, wait i opened it just now i think it's open is this thing yeah. either you push or pull it wait let me how do they keep this on leave it i, I don't know where the battery is i mm. use it so how do I check if there's something wrong with it? <laughs> I don't even know what to check. Oh, please. So we are here checking the the battery to see what we've opened the bonnet. And now we want to check what's wrong with the battery. My own is just to drive car. I don't know what to check. <laughs> I don't check oil, I don't check battery, I don't check anything. My own is drive car. <laughs> now car is not starting. Hey. Is it? I know some people used to use something to knock. Yeah, yeah but. Knock it first, let's see. Two side first. What do we do? I want to do the other one. I want to do the other one. Na na so no so do my own whether so do my own. Now we want to try to see what will happen. <laughs> car, car is not starting. Hey. <laughs> my problem is I'm blocking this entrance. That's my problem. Look where the car is is blocking. <laughs> car. So right now we are trying to boost it with the uh, charger. He's here. Oh, he's here. He's trying to help me sort it. Um, yeah, sitting here. <laughs> hey, he's yeah i'm trying to help me sort it i'm still here guys let's go and have a look at what they are doing do you have this thing you can just take I off everything in the house you can go in to get it now in this house yes uh, go and get it. he's trying to get some tools He's going to help us get some tools for it. While I was waiting for them to sort out the car, I was I saw these people cleaning the place and I was admiring this cleaning machine. I like it. They use it to like hoover the road and it's lovely <laughs> i was just looking at them he came and, and we finally moved it from where it was blocking there. the entrance one is coming place. out to have a chat <laughs> with the other one and well I done thank you really nice <laughs> Still, at least we're able to move it from there and everything sorted 
if I want. Thank you very much. Go back to work. If I want. And I will see you later when I come back. I All right. So right now the car hasn't started yet because it's battery issues and we need um is it jump starter to jump start we the need car jumpers jumper start so we don't have it battery. my mechanic will come and fix it tomorrow for us because today is celebrating it and my baby is going back to work thank you i'll take the bus to work today and i'll leave at is it one o'clock bye see you <laughs> go back your break has ended go back to work <laughs> so that's him going back and that's me waiting until it's time for me to get the bus to work thank you 